Oh, man. My favorite, your favorite. Uh, thanks so much for being Thank with you. us. I appreciate it. I want to say congrats to your daughter, Simone, by the way, uh, who is now going to be in the WWE. She signed her contract with the WWE, and, you know, it's just, it blows my mind. First of all, I mean, what an honor that uh, my daughter wants to follow in my footsteps, but more importantly, follow in my footsteps is, sounds cliche, but she actually wants to create her, blaze her own path, which is just so important. And she wound up being the youngest signee in the history of the company at six, by the way, so she's 18 now. At 16, she was working her ass off, quietly under the radar, in the ring, getting thrown around, and you know all the bumps and bruises that go with pro wrestling. And she hung in there, and I'm very, very proud of her. You, you raised her very well, my friend. Uh, being at NBC, I gotta say, we are so excited because uh, we heard Buzz early on. They're like, dude, where do you see the season of Titan Games? It's nuts. We took it to the next level. And man, oh man, you pushed it up. Thank you for pushing it up because uh, this wasn't supposed to come out till for another almost year. And this was supposed to come out in January 2021. And yeah. so um, it, there's a lot of buzz behind it right now. A lot of people are excited. There's been no sports on television. We are going to be in right now. We are slated to be the only competitive sports programming uh, on network television the entire summer. So everybody is fired up. NBC is through like champs. And, and so that's that part. That's the production and the execution part. But then for the fans at home, we went out and we got, you know, as, as frontline workers are being celebrated as well, they should now. And we were able to shoot this and get this in the can in January, having no idea that this was uh, pandemic was coming. Uh, and it's just kind of kismet and how, you know, the universe worked that way where so many of the ones who we chose after our uh, Titan Games combine, we have a physical and psychological combine that they go through like the NFL. And once we chose them, they wound up being nurses and teachers and veterans and doctors and lawyers. I mean, these just, these frontline workers um, and they are the best athletes on the planet. We have uh, UFC champions, Olympic gold medalists, Super Bowl all pro, Super Bowl champions. Up with these other like kind of normal Americans. Let these everyday people, yes. And when you take that human being against this professional athlete human being. They both. They both do this and they do that. And it's just <laughs> crazy. I can't wait for you to see it for everybody to see it. Uh, that's May 25th, uh, it's 8 p.m. on NBC. It's a two hour premiere. Um, Dwayne, before you leave, every uh, guest that comes on our show, we ask if there's a charity or something they'd like to spotlight or, or highlight. Uh, for you, it was a little difficult for us because you've done so much charitable work that we were like, which one do you want to do? And we started talking about uh, Make-A-Wish. And you've been working with Make-A-Wish for a long time. I have. I've had the honor of working with Make-A-Wish. Make-A-Wish is a charity and a foundation um, and a community of human beings that I hold dear to my heart, like deep in my soul and my bones. And Make-A-Wish, this is their 40th uh, year anniversary of granting wishes. Um, I've had the, and I did the math this morning, and I'm horrible at math, so I find, I'm glad I got this right, is um, I've been granting wishes. I first started granting wishes in 1997 as a rookie in the WWE. So for 23 years, I've been granting wishes. And brother, it is, what Make-A-Wish does for these children and these kids is it provides them with the thing that they need and they need hope. And uh, also, it sounds a little cliche when you say, you know, now more than ever, but it's true. Now more than ever. And what, they're, what they are doing, Make-A-Wish is continuing to grant wishes virtually. Um, and I'll tell you something really cool. Um, and I always love sharing this because my dad passed away in January, <clears throat> this past January, on January 15th. And by the way, you sent me the most beautiful note, handwritten note. Yeah. Because you've been there. And I, and I thank you for I don't want to get emotional right now. but I, I, got, I got you. So I got you. Thank, thank you. Buddy. Thank you so much for that, Jimmy. I love you for that note you gave me. Um, and uh, so my dad, in 1983, granted one of the first Make-A-Wishes ever in the state of New Jersey. He, he was a wrestler, and at that time, wrestling, he was a popular wrestler at that time in the WWE. But he also had Andre the Giant, Hulk Hogan, and all these guys. And this 
we met this little boy, his name was Bobby. He had no use of his arms and legs. He was in a wheelchair. He had to pick him up. And here my dad is holding this little boy. And that was my first experience and exposure to Make-A-Wish. What Make-A-Wish did in that moment for me as an 11-year-old, uh, I will never, ever forget it, which then uh, inspired me to work as closely as I do with Make-A-Wish. And last thing I want to tell you, Make-A-Wish and providing wishes for children, that is the best part of fame. We have the Make-A-Wish kids here. It's a very exciting day. Well, hey. I want you guys to have the best time. We're so happy that you guys are here. I got some surprises for you guys. So I know you guys don't have an Xbox, but you do now. This thing, it's like, I don't know, free games for a year. Thank you so much. The kids say that I inspire them, which is awesome. But the irony about it is they have no idea no clue how much they inspire me. This kind of stuff is easily the best part of my fame. I'm lucky. You, that's the best part of fame. Best part of fame. And yeah. Wish you were. Make a wish. Uh, yes. Because you always said, uh, and this is, I've known you for a, a couple of years now. Gosh, we've known each other a while. But you always said it's, it's, it's nice to be important, someone told you. But it's important to be nice. It's more important to be nice. That's right. I love nice that, people, dude. Right? Because you feel the same way. You're the same way. It's like being nice is the easiest part of our job. It's the easiest thing. Yeah, we're lucky, man. Well, I'm so lucky to have you here. And congrats on everything. And uh, on top of that, by the way, the tequila is awesome. <laughs> I will talk about <laughs> Thank you, man. some other time. <laughs> I'm, I'm, bringing, I'm, I'm sending you more tequila. Terramana to your house. It's coming. Thank you for having me on your show. Bye, buddy. I love you. I hope to see you in person. Best of the fam. Same here. Love you, brother. See you. Bye, and on and on I said and it's on and on and on